On completion of this section, you should understand what ALCAP means, why the ALCAP system was developed for heavy fuel oil, ALCAP Alpha Laval Clarifier and Purifier. Click on the boxes to get more information on the subjects. Laboratory tests. Tests made at Alpha Laval's research center with regard to particle removal from heavy fuel oil showed that the clarifier produced a better result than a well-adjusted purifier. Increasing demand for distillates. Oil manufacturing companies were finding there was an increasing demand for light distillates such as kerosene and gas oil, for which they could get a good price. Falling quality of residual oil. Deliveries to the customer could be a blended product, arrived at by the use of large proportion of residual. Even more dangerously, a refinery system oil, used for flushing round the system and containing a high catalyst content, cut back with gas oil to achieve the required density and viscosity limits. Viscosity increasing density. Historically, there has always been a known upper limit for the density of the fuel which can be processed in a purifier. In practice, this is 991 kilograms per cubic meter at 15 degrees Celsius. Oil crises in 1973 and 1978. The 1973 and 1978 oil crises severely reduced the availability of crude oil stocks. Oil price increases. Power station and ship operators did not appreciate the increase in the oil price. Need for cheaper fuel. To maintain profitability, ship owners found there was an option to buy cheaper fuel. Refining process stepped up. To release greater proportions of light products from the crude oil, the oil refinery processes were stepped up. More carbon in the residue. To satisfy the increased demand for lighter products, more of the lighter fractions were broken off by chemical and thermal cracking. The residue after the cracking process became heavier as it contained a greater proportion of highly carbonaceous substances. Interface instability. Positioning the interface in the correct place in the purifier bowl is always a very tricky problem. Its position can very easily be affected by changes in density, viscosity, temperature, which result in changed density and viscosity, and flow. Click the buttons to increase and decrease the variables, moving the interface.
loss of water seal. Loss of the water seal was the result with early purifiers. Historical purifier density limit. The first density interface limit was established at 960 kilograms per cubic meter. This was the point at which the interface started to become really sensitive. At this time, purifier design determined an absolute density limit of 985 kilograms per cubic meter. Separator design changes. Design improvements and changes in the purifier increased the absolute density limit to 991 kilograms per cubic meter. The increasing but variable density of the fuel supplied made operation with a single purifier difficult. Series operation 991 limit established. This example is based on tests made with one specific machine. In fact, the nearer the density is to 991, then the greater the sensitivity of the interface. For example, tests on one particular purifier bowl reveal the interface to be moving by 25 millimeters for every one degree Celsius change in temperature. For a fuel of 980 kilograms per cubic meter, these tests were made on a 13 size purifier bowl, and we can say that the changes will be proportionally the same for other sizes. Willing to buy low grade fuel. Owners of ships and power plants were willing to buy low grade fuel. Residual fuel oils became heavier. With a density greater than 991 kilograms per cubic meter, they contained a greater proportion of carbon atoms. This was an interesting challenge for Alpha Laval. Customers were willing to purchase the heavier and cheaper residual fuel, but could not, as the conventional purifier was not suitable due to the 991 limit. Catalytic fines. Aluminium and silicon catalysts are used in the extended refinery process. Most of these are removed from the fuel at the refinery, but a small proportion ends up in the residual fuel pool. It is this pool that is cut back with gas oil to form the heavy fuel oils. Having these small, extremely abrasive particles is a real danger to the diesel engine. One separator instead of two. Was it possible to design one centrifugal separator that would fulfil all the duties being performed by the purifier and clarifier in series? A clarifier that can remove water. There are over seven thousand Alcap fuel and lube oil cleaning systems installed throughout the world. And the number is still rising. On completion of this section, you should understand the basis of Alcap. It was not possible to use a conventional purifier, as the heavier fuel would flow over the smallest gravity disk. What about a clarifier that does not have a gravity disk? The clarifier seemed to be a good idea, as it was also better at particle removal, as revealed by the tests in the laboratory. The more residual, the more particles, sludge, and solids to be removed. In a purifier, we fit different sizes of gravity disks to accommodate different fuels and compensate for the fluctuations in temperature, flow, density, and viscosity to keep the interface in the correct position. Outside the disk stack, but inside the top disk. In a clarifier, we do not add water to establish an interface. However, if there is water in the oil. An interface will build up. We use only one clarifier disk.
Fluctuations in density, viscosity, temperature, and flow all make the interface move. Sometimes a too small a gravity disc is fitted to prevent the loss of the water seal when the oil flows out of the water outlet due to these fluctuations. This results in an interface position in the disc stack. The result of this is bad separation. But wait a minute. The clarifier can become blocked with water, and heavy fuel can contain water from any number of sources, like part of delivered bunkers, seawater, leaking steam heating coils, condensation. Insufficient draining of the settling tank will mean that more water will be fed to the purifier. Quite simply, what was needed was a clarifier that could remove water. <laughs>